thank you ma'am uh, for letting me talk on this demand for grant first of all uh, i would like to thank our honorable uh, finance minister she was kind enough to waive off uh, gst on tamrin and because of this waiver of gst on tamrin lot of uh, poor people lakhs of uh, tamrin workers in my constituency and in my state have benefited and i am sure ma'am you will have all the all their best wishes during this turbulent period you are handling this uh, portfolio thank you very much and uh, coming into this demand for grants i would like to uh, put forth my state perspective more than the national perspective the central government has brought in an ordinance where uh, corporates have been given uh, incentives and in income tax to the tune of uh, 145000 crores this is a welcome move because it will provide a uh, stimulus to this economy especially during this uh, downturn and i think this is mitigated to an extent by the transfer of uh, 176000 crores from the rbi as a surplus but the fact is that all this is going to go into the non tax revenues and this will not be a part of the devolution of taxes to the state and our state is already crippling with uh, uh, finances we are having huge uh, stress on uh, finances so with this will actually impact us to the next extent of uh, 2000 crores uh, before this ordinance was given our share of taxes was close to 34833 crores and with this ordinance it's going to be 32778 crores so i request the government to take a positive view because we are already stuck with bad finances we are we are having huge uh, revenue deficit so i request the minister to take a positive view on this as a special case for our newly formed state and the bifurcation has uh, resulted in adverse implications for the finances of our state we inherited 56% of the population 60% of debt and we also uh, inherited only 46% of revenues there's a huge mismatch and there's a huge uh, deficit in uh, revenues for the state and it would not be inappropriate to say that uh, the bifurcation of the state took place with the pro two promises one is special category status on the floor of the house and the second one is that they will fulfill all the conditions in the ap reorganization act but the fact is that special category status has not been addressed so far it was promised on the floor of this house it was promised in the manifesto of both the bjp and the congress it was promised not only in the house it was promised in various meetings by the honorable prime minister himself and all the other ministers who have who have canvassed in our state so i think it's the need of the hour to support our state we are in a huge deficit financially and i think it's time for the government to keep up the promises made and even the ap reorganization act a lot of promises have been kept unfulfilled and i think the government should act in time to keep up what what all have been promised in the ap reorganization act and to just give the magnitude of the financial losses what we are incurring the government in 2000 after the partition we inherited almost 97123 crores and in the past 5 years the debt has risen to 258000 crores this is huge and now the current government the new government we are facing a huge burden with this just the interest part is 20000 crores and the principal we need to pay 20000 crores per year it's like 40000 crores every year as of now the government is purely surviving on debt we have unviable finances we are having huge revenue deficit and i i i plead with the honorable finance minister to take a positive view and i also urge the government to help our state very positively and the only way forward for us is granting special category status vice or congress party demands special category status and we request the government to keep up the word what they have given us it is not a demand or whatever we are asking in ap reorganization act it is not something new which we are asking all this was promised and we are requesting what has been promised to us ma'am i would like to talk about a polavaram project it is a very important project andhra pradesh is basically a agrarian state more than 60% of the population thrive on agriculture but in the past few years we the farmers have been hit with continuous drought and cyclones the debt 
of the farmers was 87,000 crores in 2014, and currently its whole it is at almost 130,000 crores. So you can understand the plight of the farmers. AP has the highest indebted farmers in the country, so it is time for the government to help us construct Polaram project, which is part of the AP Reorganisation Act. It is a national project, which has to be constructed by the centre. So the centre has needs to support with funds. There is almost 5,000 crores pending for the already work done in the Polaram project. We are already uh, living on borrowed finances, and the, uh, the interest part on this 5,000 crores itself is almost close to 500 crores for our state, which is a huge burden for us. So I plead with the government to release this amount immediately, and also the project is in full progress. Very soon it is going to reach the 41.5 meter level for the spillway and the coffer dam, which means that there will be submergence, and huge amount needs to go into uh, land acquisition and also for uh, rehabilitation. So it is time now the, this amount be released for the state and expert committee was uh, constituted for this uh, projects and all and we are, our uh, new chief minister Jagan Mohan Reddy is in the process of cutting costs, saving money for the state on the advice of expert committee a reverse tendering was uh, reverse tendering took place and we have a huge saving of almost 800 crores. I think this is a direct saving to the central government. So keep, please keep all this in mind. Please understand our positive attitude. Help build <coughs> all our fast because we, not, we don't have such conditions for national highway projects happening in our state. National highway projects don't have, it, it is all, everything is on fast track. The bills are paid whenever the work is done in a few days time. But here we have month delay. It is, it's going to uh, drain the exchequer of, uh, with additional interest costs and I would also like to bring to the notice of the Honorable uh, Finance Minister that part, as part of the AP Reorganization Act, we were promised a package like Bundelkhand where uh, backward districts get benefit. In our state, seven districts have been identified and every year uh, 350 crores had to be released in this regard. But for the past two years, this amount has been pending, and even with the current year, a total of 1,050 crores is pending for the state. I, 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 I urge the government to release this amount soon. And I also urge the finance minister to relook into this backward area grant, the whole workings, because if you see the actual Bundelkhand package, it was taken on the number of districts. But for Andhra Pradesh, we have lesser districts with huge population and huge area. So there is a mismatch in this. So we urge the government to take a view, uh, to rework on this and take it on per capita basis. Because I'll give an example what's happened in Bundelkhand and what's happening in AP. If you take the per capita grants which Bundelkhand is getting, it is almost 4,115 rupees per person. But the same thing in AP is 428, just 428 rupees per person, which is a big mismatch and it is nowhere close to the Bundelkhand package. We are getting only 10% of what we were supposed to get. So please consider this and please rework on this. And I would also like to bring to the notice of the Honorable Finance Minister that during the bifurcation of the state, the first year, that is 2014-2015, it, it was promised that the revenue deficit will be bridged and the revenue deficit will be paid to the state. But so far, of the total revenue deficit of 22,948 crores, only 3,979 has been released. There was initially, there was a, a sort of a dispute between the central and state government regarding this figure, but the CAG has ratified this, that it is 22,948, so there is no dispute on this right now. So I request the Honorable Finance Minister to take a view on this and release the revenue deficit, whatever we have been expecting. And as I have already told, us is a basically an agrarian state. So if you take, we are majorly dependent on River Krishna. And though Godavari passes through our state, not much of water we are able to use from that. So as part of the interlinking of rivers, I urge the central government to take up interlinking of a river Krishna and Godavari as a national project. Because if you see, 
in river krishna because of climate change or whatever reasons because of new projects being built the water inflow into andhra pradesh especially uh, sri salem dam has fallen from 1230 tmc to 456 tmc this is the average figures i am giving so it is almost one third of what water we need to get so the only way to improve the demo demographic dividend of the state is to interlink these two rivers kindly support us because we are an agrarian state and everybody i think this will be the largest employment generator for the state and especially it will help a rail sima region which is suffering from continuous years and years of drought ma'am as part of the reorganization act we were promised that the central government will sponsor and fund a port in our state but what has happened is dugraj patnam port was found to be unfeasible dugraj patnam so since it is unfeasible we request money be given for ramai patnam port which is a very crucial port and it is part of the visakhapatnam chennai industrial corridor and we also request the central government to step forward because our honorable chief minister has announced that he'll be going ahead with the kadapa steel plant which is part of the ap reorganization act so please be kind enough to help our government please help us with the funds to set up this uh, steel plant or whoever is coming forward kindly help us out to go ahead with our steel plant and i also request the honorable uh, finance minister i think one of the most successful programs helping the poor is manrega please increase the allocations for manrega during this tough period because it is going to help a lot of uh, poor people and i also urge upon the honorable uh, finance minister not to cut down the allocations for uh, pmgsy because it, it it is very important for uh, rural connectivity and also i request the government to increase the housing allocation to the state especially andhra pradesh because we have a lot of people below the below poverty line and i also urge upon the government to help andhra pradesh with all the initiatives our new government has taken ma'am we are going ahead with the renovation of 44000 government primary and secondary schools this is going to help the poor in a big way so kindly come forward and kindly provide us some grant for this development of schools because with good education only the poor can come forward the people will come uh, above the their uh, whatever they are into trouble and uh, we are also going ahead with the renovation of all the government hospitals and public health centers please provide funds for this also ma'am and i urge through you that all the railway projects they've been pending for a long time and they are getting crippled with escalation costs so i request the honorable uh, finance minister to take up this cause also in the end i would like to reiterate please 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 keep up your promise of special category status we demand special category status again madam thank you